Hey beauties and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, just go ahead and click that subscribe button and turn on your bells so you do not miss any of our new posts. Now as you can see in the beginning of this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I created this look and today's hair is provided by OMG Her Hair. Now I work with this company so many times, like I can't stress it enough. They are one of my top fave uh, companies to work with and they always provide me with good quality wigs so I was not surprised how good this wig was. And this is their 20 inch uh, deep wave wig and it is 150% density. The knots do already come pre-bleached so this is very beginner friendly but you know guys even though the knots did complete uh, you know come bleached and already come pre-plugged I just went back in a second time to make sure I really hide the grids um, you know on the lace wig so this is what it looks like after bleaching it the second time and just plucking it just a tad bit more and now I'm going to go ahead and begin the installation process on Shari now as I um, you know described in detail before about installing wigs on low hairlines I stress that um, just pull the wig all the way down to it covers the hairline completely and whatever is not needed for the install you will cut it off so right now it looks like the hairline is too far down but trust me the glue is not going to be all the way down there you still want to apply that glue in the same exact pattern of their natural hairline shaping but before we get to gluing, I am taking my Beautiful Hustlers um, scalp protectant, skin protectant, and just spraying it across her hairline before I go in with my five layers of my lace milk adhesive. Now, I just want to say this because I get this question very, very frequently, and I'm just going to call this the um, lace milk layer chart. Now, people ask me how many layers should you use depending on what type of hold you want. And right now, and I'm gonna make sure I attach this down below, if you just need a minimum hold for maybe like, you know, a few days to a week at most, I would recommend one to two layers. If you want more of a two week to three week hold, I would recommend three to four layers. And if you do want a waterproof hold, I say five to seven layers max to do your swimming, you know, and water sport activities that you're going to do. Now, um, yeah that's pretty much it um i think i explained it pretty good but i will just make sure i attach that information down below just in case you want to screenshot that and save that for your memory so yeah but for today even though shari is not doing any water activities or anything like that well she actually might be i take that back she actually might be but i will be doing five layers of my lace milk adhesive and usually when I'm doing my clients, I always do four to five regardless. But if anybody do want a hold that's, you know, just like temporary, I would recommend one or two layers, as I mentioned. But uh, nevertheless, after I apply all of the layers, I will go ahead and wait till that glue turns clear and begin to lay down the wig. As I mentioned, once the glue turns clear, you will go ahead and begin to place your lace wig right into that glue. And just um, as you pull that lace down, just give it like a nice firm press on the hairline so it can kind of like secure into place. Um, but you can have them hold one side as you work your way onto the other side. Especially have them hold it if you feel like the wig is too small or it doesn't fit the person perfectly. You just want to make sure you know you have them hold that into place so that glue can grab hold of that lace and keep it in place, okay? So with this wig, it was just slightly, just a tad bit um, too, um, too small for her head or you know, because it don't really match her uh, hairline perfectly and I had to finesse my way to get it to you know work out. But um, it did work out, it ended out well because I just followed the own, you know, my own techniques and tips that I give you guys. And yeah, it always turns out just right. So 
Uh, once I laid that lace down, I blow dried her hairline on heat. And I'm going to also comb it with the uh, hot comb and then tie it down with the melt belt. Before tying it down with the melt belt. I did that because I, I already knew that everything that was pulled downward was going to be cut off because one, the glue did not go down that far. Because if I did glue it down that far, that means her wig is too far down. And two, I knew I just wasn't gonna need it. Like, I mean, it's like the same reason for, you know, steps one and two. One, because that's not part of her hairline pattern. And two, it was not gonna be glued anyways because I followed the exact, um, you know, like line trace of her hairline when I applied the glue. And that's how you can ensure with each and every client that you're applying the wig in the right, you know, in the right spot on your head. It's not too far down, it's not too far back, just right where it needs to be. So that's why I pulled that hair forward because I knew it was going to get cut off. So now I'm just going in with my lace glider and just raising off that extra lace. And I'm gonna do the same thing on both sides and right here I went in with the scissors because the lace part that was not glued was still like a tiny piece on there so I just go ahead you know I just went ahead and went in with um, my scissors and just you know cut those little tiny little pieces off but as long as you are using a fresh razor you should not have any issues so I'm just gonna go ahead and raise it you know raise everything until it's off uh, pull down the section for my baby hairs and then get ready to tie down the lace and um, you know prep for the styling process. So um, before I actually get into the styling, what I like to do is just pull down a section for the baby hairs uh, first. That way I can spread the hairline and tie it down, apply more foundation if needed to the hairline, and then spray it with the holding spray and then tie it down. And what that do is just really get your lace melted to like the thousandth power. And you know, while you're you know in the styling process, the longer that melt belt sits, the better your invisible melt would be, okay? So yes, I know we hate the melt belt being tied to our head. It might hurt depending on how tight you tie it, but your lace will be like in your skin. And you know, that's really the goal we all go for. Yes, laces are wigs and everything, but the goal is to make it as melted as possible and to make it look as natural as possible. 
And you can't have a natural looking wig if you can see where it starts and where it stops and all of that. So category is melt, category is scalp, category is skin, category is new hairline, period. So for the styling process, what I'm going to do is go ahead and start by parting the hair on the sides. I will be doing a zigzag part down the middle um, with the two bantu knots at the top and, you know, the exotic baby, well, exotic, dramatic, whatever you want to call it, but I will be doing those baby hairs. And I just love this curl pattern on this wig. I love the lace. It was HD lace. I love the quality period. It's just always good quality with OMG her hair. So it's like, you know, I literally have no complaints with anything that they send me. And I also will be doing another review with them. So just stay tuned for that video as well. It will be a 360 lace install. So make sure you do turn on your notifications because y'all don't want to miss that. It's been highly requested showing how to do the front and the back. So turn on your notifications now. But, um, However, I'm going to go ahead and just hot comb everything around that parting area, just getting prepared to be like, you know, sleeked and everything. But before I actually begin to do the bantu knots, I will spray that hairline and tie it down again with the melt belt. But that will be shortly after I finish prepping uh, the outer area for the style. So now that I went ahead and pressed everything around that, um, you know, that area that I'm going to be uh, knotting up as far as like the bantu knots, using my Glam Wax stick, I went and applied the wax all around it and hot combed it out to the T. And now I'm just taking that trusted man, spreading the whole, you know, taking a trusted man, spreading, uh, spraying the hairline with that holding spray like I mentioned before. And just, I like to comb it in, just making sure it's nice and sleek so when I remove the melt belt, it looks very, very neat. So that's why I always spray, then comb through the hair and then tie it down. But um, once I do that, I'm gonna start actually doing my zigzag part and creating my bantu knots. And honestly, creating a bantu knot style is very simple. Um, 
you know, just try to get creative with the parting if you can. Um, but, you know, I just love the Bantu Knot looks. And what I'm trying to do um, for my channel now is, like, styles that I do that I do not record, um, for some reason, they always be the most creative. So, from now on, guys, I'm going to do my most liked, most shared, and more uh, most popular looks that I post on my regular Instagram that are not recorded. Those styles that get the most, like, shares and likes and comments, I'm going to recreate all of those looks for my channel. Um, I know like most YouTube stylists just do like simple stuff. They probably do like the same middle parts, the same side parts over and over. Um, honestly, I think I'm one of the YouTube stylists that really goes in and do like creative styling looks. Simply because honestly y'all, y'all know doing the same simple styles over and over, watching the same YouTubers do the same thing over and over. It does get boring because eventually it's like, you're really not learning anything new. You're just watching, you know, all of us do the same thing over and over, just a different color or, you know, it's just, just like I get bored, I know y'all can get bored too. I know the views can go down. Y'all can be like, okay, just another middle part. Okay, just another side part. So to switch it up, I decided that, like I mentioned, my most popular uh, installs that go on my page or my most shared looks or most liked commented looks, I will recreate the look for my channel. So yeah, um, if you see any style that I do that you find very creative um, and you, you know, recreate the look, be sure to tag me on Instagram. I would love to share it just to see what you guys are learning from my channel and everything like that. But um, however, I did go ahead and do her zigzag part and then I removed the melt belt. As far as your zigzag part, you can make them as big as you want it to be or you can make the partings as small as you want to, you know, you want it to be. It's just really up to you and your preference. Um, so um, once I created the parting size that I wanted, I'm just gonna go back in with my wax stick and hot comb the area around those parts, uh, you know, that part, simply because it's still kind of poofy and everything. But when I do the Bantu knots, I like everything to be neat and sleek. So I go back in with that wax stick and hot comb all around that parting area so the roots are nice and smooth. And then I pull the Bantu knot up in the direction that I want it to go. And using a, you know, a regular rubber band, probably like the bigger size rubber band, I just go in, you know, I go in there, grip the hair nice and sleek and, you know, neatly. And because also that, that glam wax stick does get the hair very shiny and sleek. So, um, you know, that wax stick really does come in handy, which you can also purchase on my site once we restock. We are sold out on everything right now completely. And I'm just waiting for everything to get shipped to me. So um, make sure you guys subscribe to my website as well, because I do send out like mass emails of when we do restock so you do not miss it. So go ahead and, you know, subscribe to my site and you won't miss any restocks because you will get the email. But all packages will be restocked, mega packages, slay deluxe, all of that. You will have everything ready. But um, so, um, however, I'm gonna go ahead and take that rubber band, like I was mentioning before, and secure it nice and sleek. And then, of course, I will go ahead and begin to twist it up to create our Bantu knot.
just secure the end of the band too now by putting the rubber band all the way to the bottom that way you don't have to worry about any unraveling and i'm just going to repeat the same steps for the other side to create the second band to knot but so far it is super cute super sleek super neat and that is the goal the neater the style the better um the more attractive people are to your installs like all of that matters so just use that wax stick to your best advantage to get your hair nice slimy slimy <laughs> to get your hair nice shiny and sleek Gary the snail, period, giving a girl. <laughs> Let me stop playing, but yes, these two Bantu knots are super, super cute and a fun and creative look. I would love to do a full head of Bantu knots. I gotta get a full lace and just really go to work with these Bantu knots. And I know the full head of the Bantu knots with zigzag parts would be so raw with the exotic baby hairs. Yes, I'm about to do that one for y'all for real because that's going to be too freaking dope, too freaking cute, okay? But um, now that I went ahead and created the Bantu knots and everything around the parting area is sleek, it is time to get to those baby hairs. So we are going for the exotic look today. I'm going to cut the baby hairs pretty short. Um, when you're doing exotic baby hairs, it's really easier to manage when you cut them short. So I will be doing that and... Y'all know I'm bougie now. I don't put the gel and the glue on the back of my hands no more. I use my little watch looking um, thingy. I don't know what to call this yet. So we're just gonna call it the watch looking thingy. And I put my got to be gel on the little plate and I go to work. I use my edge brush, use that gel, use the little wrist plate, whatever thingy. And I just go to work on the baby hairs and just get creative, just do my thing, go with the flow. So just watch me slay these baby hairs real quick and we will get to the finishing touches.
Period, baby hairs are slayed as they should be. And I'm just taking some holding spray and spraying the hairline. Hold on, y'all. I had to peel some off the forehead. But yeah, I'm just going to spray that hairline really quick. Some holding spray. Blow dry it. Just tap, 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 tap in. Tap, 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 tap in. Period. <laughs> and yes, now I'm just taking a little washing and spraying it to give her hair some shine. And yes, y'all ain't got to worry about her wig slipping or nothing because I put a little washing on there. It's not going to slip because the hold is the real deal, period. But now I'm taking um, that same foundation that I use to, you know, put underneath the lace. And I'm just going around everywhere where I have a part and just clean it up and conceal it up to make it stand out even more. Do y'all be seeing a difference? Like when you go in and conceal that part, it make it just pop 10 times more but now i'm going in the zigzag area and just brightening up that part so it pops some more and that will create why well, should i be rubbing her out like that <laughs> but that will create the final look and i lied <laughs> not the final look just yet we have to go in with that beautiful hustler uh mousse <laughs> that will be dropping at the next restock. So make sure, like I said, y'all, I subscribe to my website so y'all do not miss when this restock drop. Yes, I'm adding the mousse to my collection. I am in love with this mousse. I said it in my last video, and every time you see me with curly hair, I'm going to keep saying it. It smells like strawberries. It's, oh, God. It smells like strawberries. It gets the curls popping. It don't feel all dry and stuff. It make you, you know, give you that little moisture feeling. I'm just upset. So I'm just adding a little mousse to Shari to get her curls popping. And then that will be our actual finished look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm trying to bring y'all some fire installs and looks this season, period per. So, yes, um, I'm going to try to drop as many tutorials as possible because Kai's birthday is coming up. He's about to be five, and we're going to go on a little vacation for him. So, I will be, you know, off for like a week or whatever, but I'll be back to the tutorials. But in the meantime, between time, I'm going to keep dropping y'all these flames, these trending looks, these, you know, my most popular looks. I will be dropping back to back. So, Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned. Subscribe, like, comment, and share.